Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing a fun video on how to apply a stain over a painted surface. And yes, you can do that. I have done this many times and it is a really cool process. Now, why would you want to do that? Let's just say that you've got damaged wood veneer. And so you go, oh, I have to paint it, I can't stain it. Because if you make those repairs, it, the stain is going to show all of those repairs since stains are sheer and not opaque like paint. So, but don't give up. There is a way to make it look really cool and I've done it so many times and I get asked about the look every single time. So today I'm gonna show you guys and show you how simple it is. Literally you need two products, your paint, and then the stain and finishing the product oil. we're gonna be using today is this. This is the Fusion Stain and Finishing Oil. So what is that? It's a stain and a top coat in one. It is an extremely durable product and it does not require any additional top coat to it. I have used this product on hundreds of dressers and different tabletops and it is phenomenal. So today we're gonna to be using it though in a little different way. Most of the time I use it on bare wood. It can be used either or. And until recently, I just started doing it with a technique with having a top of a piece painted and using this over the top of it. And it just gives such a cool look. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It does come in several different colors off the top of my head. It comes in natural, this is cappuccino, driftwood, which is a gray, and um, ebony. So I've done many looks with blending them. They blend beautifully. You can use them on their own, on bare wood, on a painted surface. So the possibilities are endless, but today we're gonna to show you a really cool technique going over a painted surface, giving it a stain. Okay, look. so here's our piece that we are going to be working on today. This is done in Fusion's Raw Silk. It is a beautiful, creamy, off-white. And yes, if you're looking at the two drawers that have knobs on them, they do have completely different knobs because I haven't decided yet which ones I'm going with. So I'm letting them sit until I figure out which ones I like best. Okay, for today's video, we already have our pre-painted surface. This has already been sitting for 24 hours. That's what I would recommend before you do this process. I have my stain and finishing oil in cappuccino and a foam brush. That is all we are going to be using aside from rags and that will come in afterwards. Now this stain and finishing oil has an open time of 10 minutes. What does that mean to you? It means you can work with it for that 10 minute period before you need to stop, put your foam brush down and walk away. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can so you guys can see, but at the same time, I want you to see my process, how I get this big long dresser all taken care of in one swoop. So I have a few minutes to stand and talk to you guys. It is on there. I've got a 10 minute open time and just a few things. The next step, the only thing you're going to need is a rag. I choose to use the white rags in the box. They just work really well for me, but anything lint free is good to use. So that's gonna be our next step. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rags and we'll come back and I'll show you. The key is not as exactly how you put it on, but how you take it off. Okay, so I've got two rags, one in each hand, and what I'm doing is going from one end of the dresser to the other, trying to stay in as straight of line as I possibly can. I'm also flipping the rag so I make sure once it's loaded up, I want a nice clean one, and I keep going until I get the desired look. Now, I wanted it a little bit lighter, so I continue to wipe until I get the look that I'm trying to achieve. guys that is it this is the final result and I am super happy with it I'm only going to do the one layer because I am super loving the color it deposited beautifully it wipes back easily and you can continue like you saw me do continue wiping back until you get the desired look that you want all right you guys that is it we are at the end of the video that was quick simple easy technique don't need a lot of products don't need a lot of supplies and you get a great end result so Thank you very much for watching today. Thank you for being a part of my channel and subscribing. If you don't subscribe, please do so so you can get all of my latest videos and be a part of my YouTube community, which helps support my channel. If you know somebody that might find this information and this video helpful, share it. And if this wasn't enough information for you guys, 
please remember, I do teach one-on-ones. I offer 30 and 60 minute lessons and they're available to purchase direct from my website. I'll put that link here so you guys know. Thank you again. And if you have any questions or positive comments, leave them down below. I'll always answer your questions and I love engaging with you guys. See you on the next video.